All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you from outside my apartment here in uh, lovely Yokosuka, Japan. And today uh, we're gonna go on a bike ride and I'm just gonna show you around my uh, local neighborhood here in Yokosuka and uh, some other things. So, see you in the next bit. Okay, so here is my lovely ride to Hummer, zero emissions, suck it hippies. So, um, gonna hop on this bad boy and head on out. So yeah, see you there. <clears throat> All right, guys, let's get her on. <laughs> so I'm hoping that this camera picks up everything right, so. This is outside my apartment. Hey, there's some parking, and I don't have a car, so you know. <laughs> this is how I get around in style, if you could see that. <sighs> Wake up. Oh. All right, cool. And here's what I get to look at every morning. I'm sure, you're gonna miss it. There's Sarashima, Monkey Island out there. Gonna be going to that soon. Can't wait. So, oh, already getting the right lane, Andy. Shit. <laughs> so, I'm already thinking too American here. I'm in the right lane. <laughs> so, right side lane, I should say. Not the correct lane. Anywho, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, at the time of this recording, I'm about a week away from uh, leaving Japan, leaving the Navy, and uh, starting my life over again. And I'm really nervous, but I'm also really excited too. And I'm just, you know, recording some, some stuff, you know, just some local stuff. I don't know how this is gonna end up. It may take me a while to edit it. So, um, this may come out after I come back to the States. Who knows? So I'll just give you guys a little neighborhood tour. So over there is the Pachinko Parlor. Um, it's like kind of gambling, but not really. There is Kappa Sushi, which is a, uh, a sushi chain here in Japan, I've learned. And uh, the sushi is actually pretty good. I've eaten here a lot, <laughs> considering the location. And uh, I've had guys in my division come down here as well. It's good stuff. Over there, that yellow building is Yamada Denki, which is an electronics store, or more like a like an appliance store. Kind of think of like Japanese Sears. It's kind of the vibe I get. Oh, hey, here's my apartment. <laughs> Dae Palace, Yokosuka Horonochi by Zasi. That's my place. And, uh, yeah. So, um, it's hard to believe that I'm only a week away from leaving. Uh, now here's a big uh, golf store. And then here is what I'm assuming is another sushi place and like a bait and tackle shop up top, I think. But they got like sushi and stuff here, so. I'm <laughs> sandwiched in between two sushi places. That's pretty awesome. Right there is uh, Kugiyama, uh, like an eyeglass shop. There's a real estate place right there. And there's PC Depot, where I assembled my very first custom PC, the Chillbox. Got all the uh, parts and everything from here. The only thing I didn't get was the software, but the hardware I got all from here. And then there's Family Garden, which is an excellent restaurant. Really good food, really good food. And then there's Uniqlo, which opened up uh, earlier this year. Um, I don't know how the Uniqlo are in other parts of Japan, but here in Yokosuka, where it's a very foreign-centric uh, place, they do have sizes that are a bit larger than the standard the hell, the standard Japanese sizes. So, it's not necessarily a big and tall place per se, but uh, they have like extra large, you know, the American equivalent of extra large and stuff like that, which is somewhere in between like a large and extra large, to be honest. So it's a little snug if you're an extra large guy like myself. But anywho. Oh, there's Ranma! Ranma! Yeah, this is another pachinko yakiniku place. And there's Don Quixote! Which, eh, what the hell. I'll buzz around and show you guys. The wonders of Don Quixote. Now, 
I do plan on doing an inside tour eventually, but um, I'll save that for later. So Don Quixote, you see the little penguin guy on top of the moon there. Um, this is an insane store. Here's a little daycare, I'm not gonna show the kids. Anyway, this is an insane store. It's got lots of different stuff at really low prices. So you can get like a whole big two liter jug of tea for like a dollar, or actually less because the USD is doing pretty good right now. But yeah, it's a whole grab bag of stuff and it's awesome. One of my favorite places in Japan. And uh, like I said, I definitely do plan on doing an inside tour, but not right now. We'll wait. So. Back on track here. It's the other side of it. <laughs> I've actually never been down this way before. I usually just kind of zigzag around the other way. Anywho. You can see some uh, boats and stuff. And things. Little personal boats. Not really yachts per se. Just, I don't know. Maybe. Somebody's in a hurry. Shit. <laughs> That's okay. Now, usually don't really go to the left that much. So, we'll just swing back around. So I just wanted to show you guys Donkey, which is the shortening of Don Quixote. So if you're ever in the neighborhood, look for either the blue penguin or the little hand pointing down. That's Don Quixote, or Donkey, as it's shortened to out here in the Japan land. Yeah, we'll just zip around and see the other things. So, that's gonna be a bit of a, a longer video than what I normally do, as these neighborhood tours are known for. Okay. Another thing, um, <laughs> you're probably not gonna see a lot of uh, good bike mannerisms or whatever here. Um, I don't know if it's just Japan or if they're just different from the states but i've noticed that a lot of bicyclists don't like that one right there don't really pay attention they expect everybody else to pay attention for them but they don't pay attention for themselves and it's kind of annoying actually like defensive driving doesn't exist in the way it does in the states where you're always on the lookout and you have uh, situational awareness here in Japan you're just it's you're just kind of expected to go through the motions and if somebody else you know isn't following in step then you look at them like hey why don't you watch where you're going <laughs> why don't you watch where you're going <sighs> but I digress it's supposed to be a happy video not a why Andy's angry at pedestrians video. <laughs> but, you know, one of the small gripes that I have with Japan, even though it happens a lot. Let's see. I did a neighborhood tour I went down this way and showed you guys Ave and all those other places so um, I'm just gonna get up to the next light turn left and then we're gonna show you guys the other part of the neighborhood as well so watch out for that tree <laughs> some of these palm trees are a little low hanging so you might get clipped a little. That's okay. Oh, and it is definitely summer, ladies and gentlemen. You can kind of hear the cicadas in the distance. You hear, you'll hear them a lot more as we get closer to more trees. Kind of already hear them, actually. Over there is Book Off, which is a uh, like a secondhand store out here in Japan. So um, they call them uh, recycle shops out here. But they're basically secondhand stores, you know, you can go pick up stuff on the cheap, pick up lots of cool retro stuff as well on the cheap. 
So it's definitely a cool place to check out. You know, I, I went there to check out some video games and stuff, but uh, I don't know. That particular store, their video game selection was kind of lacking. But that's okay. Oh man. So, right here is a fishing supply center. I go by it every day going to work and it always smells like fish. You can see right there, they got the styrofoam crates and stuff where the fish are on ice and whatnot. And every morning I see a lot of forklifts and everything just lifting up pallets and pallets of fish. It's pretty cool. And they got a nice beer garden right here, the Hamakuta. It's a nice little beer garden. See? <laughs> Let's go this way. So, you guys might remember this location coming up here. In one of my previous videos, I did a uh, tour of this area known as uh, the Dragonfly Kingdom. Now I found out all this stuff after I filmed. I thought it was just like a strange little nature park, but there's a lot more to it than that. So uh, if you guys want to see me tour it, uh, go ahead and check out the video. I'll put a link down below in the boopy de boop or maybe an annotation or something. At least I hope I remember I do. If I don't, remind me, because I'm kind of lazy like that. So, I don't know if that's a cat or a baby. It's hard to tell. Anywho, cicadas are coming out, man. But, a town where I grew up in, in Ohio, had a lot of cicadas in the summertime. So for me, it's very nostalgic. Just reminds me of summertime in Ohio. So all it needs is just an owl going <laughs> I'm just gonna go. So alrighty. So we have a 7-Eleven over there for you round eyes that need to make uh, make with the money, like myself. It's a good place to go. Oh, and that's another thing I got to discuss in an upcoming video is um, where you can withdraw money if you have a foreign bank card because a lot of these uh, different banks and ATMs and stuff aren't going to accept your card if you run a foreign card. So, um, but 7-Eleven does. So 7-Eleven is like the main place to go. I've heard some other banks do it, but just to be 100% sure, 7-Eleven. Oh, and here's McDonald's, by the way. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'm guessing that's what I'm eating it is. In, in the Yabonese. So this used to be a tennis place. And it had a poster of this tennis anime called Baby Steps. That's when I first heard about it. So I've been watching that a lot on Crunchyroll lately. It's a good series. I don't know. I've been kind of into the the sports anime lately. I don't know. Something about it I like. Just sort of like a team overcoming adversity and whatnot. It's real uplifting stuff. So yeah. Sports anime have been my jam lately. at home kids <laughs> so anyway yeah lots of car dealerships around this little plot here um, some massage places and then you got Hotel Sunset coming up here it's like this little eatery I guess so Hotel Sunset's like a little love hotel or whatever I just like the name it's really cool I took a picture out back of it and uh, yeah Cool stuff. And then right here you got a Chinese restaurant, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> and then over there, a little wood building with the red letters, that's Banya, my all-time favorite ramen restaurant in Japan. 
I've been to a lot of ramen places in Japan, and that one is my all-time favorite. And plus, the owner there is a real good guy. And then there's Sutaya, which is a video rental place, um, stuff like that. Down there, if you go down for, for far enough, you go to the train station, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I already showed you guys this side of town, so. Okay, guys, so I backtracked a little bit. Um, so I just decided to skip the uh, going back to this part, and uh, we're gonna go forward some more, and uh, yeah, good stuff. So here we have a, uh, this is a standard gas station, but it's got the uh, the lady from Bewitched. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully the camera angle is good. I didn't really check it before turning it back on, but if it's bad, I apologize. So, in the tour, it's a little cycle place over there, trip cycle. Right here, Snook Store Day Cafe. Awesome burgers, awesome burgers. It's another pachinko place, Family Mart. Um, that's another little restaurant. I haven't been to that one, but uh, I think they got like noodles and stuff. I think that's one of the reasons why I haven't really been doing as much filming as I should have. It's just been too damn hot. So. Cool little barbershop right here. And then uh, right here, Cycle Base Asahi is uh, where I got my bike fixed up multiple times. Good people. They speak a little English, so you have to work with them, but good people. around waiting 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 I'm kind of a busy intersection so I'm not just gonna fucking gun it so yeah it's a hot one today guys so it's Miharucho Ichome yeah fuck it I ain't sitting around waiting so, uh, anyway, you have some more little stores there. Got some old stuff in there, it's pretty cool. Kind of a drive-by tour. <laughs> but, anyway, and you got a little lotto place. Yeah, they, they play lotto out here too, lottery. And then there's Sukiya, which is uh, another famous restaurant cha chain out here in Japan. It's okay. I like this little downtown area. It reminds me a lot of, uh, of Salina. It's a bit more rundown looking, but uh, just the overall feel of everything just kind of reminds me of Salina a little bit. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and I like this sign, the Harumi sign. Look at it's turning. It's a little uh, hairstyles, hair salon. A lot of hair salons, a lot of barbershops. And Flower shops and whatnot. So, oh, geez. Okay, nobody coming. Ah. And there's about $500 sushi place. DPD rental place. And most is just homes and stuff. That nature. Sure. Oh, cool. Alright, a place to get cycles and mopeds and things. Coin up laundry. Uh, I think that was like a pet grooming place. A lot of stuff in like a small amount of time that I got to react to it. So, if I missed something, I'm savvy. I like this place. It's an old vending machine and old ads and stuff. Then, Right over here, we'll just drive by it so we can get to the next part. 
of Zetua. It's a small little park, by the way. Um, got right here, Moss Burger, which is my local little Moss Burger that I like to go to. Good stuff. Nice, tiny, very quiet. Staff's pretty good. Okay. Ah, I got blossoms. That's neat. Ah. Loving the wind, but it's probably sounding like shit on the audio. I apologize. Ah. I got the little uh, foam insert, so hopefully it'll block out some of the noise. It's not a 100% for sure thing, though. I'm looking into uh, getting like a like a wind sock or something for it. That kind of stuff's hard to find in Japan because, like, they're really good with like like camera cameras. But as far as like audio, the audio portion is very very limited. But if you want a camera and camera accessories, man, Japan is your fucking place. Let me tell you what, got so much stuff, and they got so many different stores as well, so if you don't like the price of the one store, you can always go to another one. And speaking of which, there's a Canada store <laughs> as I'm talking about this. And of course, another one of my favorite places here in Yokosuka and, well, Japan in general, actually, is Kojima Big Camera. So Kojima is, I guess, like an offshoot of Big Camera, which is a... Another big uh, camera franchise chain in Japan. So, got a lot of stuff up there. And it's also got appliances and other things too. So, we're just gonna go for it. Okay. <laughs> another 7 Eleven, and I think there's another Yamada Denki down there, further down. Right here, we have Homes, which as the name suggests, is uh, kind of Japan's version of Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that. It's got a lot of good stuff. I bought uh, a lot of my uh, office furniture. All one chair <laughs> from here. Good stuff. Um, so you can get a lot of do-it-yourself stuff. Stuff for the house, office, whatnot. A lot of good stuff there. There's another pachinko place. Japan has so many pachinko places. It's insane. Yeah, here's a, uh, well, it's not that recent, but it's about a year or so ago, this new little mall was built. It's got Toys R Us, Kids R Us. Uh, it's got like another little electronic star store called Nojima. It's got an okay amount of stuff. Don't expect anything too mind blowing. It's mostly for uh, household electronics, like lights and washers and dryers and stuff. So, you know, for a guy looking for camera stuff, it's got a pretty bare minimum amount of stuff and it's got a oh geez <laughs> sorry there so it's got a grocery store in there called San, Sanwa and it's got a pretty good selection of stuff in there too so but actually since I li live closer to Ave or Avenue A-V-E however you pronounce it I usually just go there or to a Kambini or to Don Quixote actually I go to Don Quixote more this is the closest. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> just gonna mosey on along. Uh, the heat's much more bearable when you got a, a nice breeze coming through. Oh, this is a spot I filmed uh, the Rhododendra, or not the Rhododendra, the Hydrangea video at Obviously not in bloom right now, but uh, yeah, rainy season's over. Time to sweat and suffer. 
होता है यहाँ This is the fun I have, folks. I like taking this path, actually. It's The road's a bit bumpier than over on the other side, but uh, it's got a lot of trees, and especially in this friggin' heat, you need all the coverage you can get. <laughs> Trust me. When you a pasty white boy like myself, coverage is something you need to count on. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, the cicadas. They're coming in for the kill, young boy. Sorry, you might get, might get bapped here in a couple low lime branches. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Watch out! And see, this isn't actually the height of their noise. That's, that's what blows my mind. You know, this is actually pretty quiet for them. Get to like mid to late August and these things are gonna be deafeningly loud. And you're gonna be like, fucking stop. Right now it's pretty quiet. Oh, <laughs> didn't even have to stop there really. So yeah, this is a police station. Step, thanks. Man. Oh shit, I should have turned there. Oh well. It's okay, I can bounce back. I know where I'm going. So, uh, speaking of which, I gotta, <laughs> gotta tell you guys this. So, um, for all my friends out here in Japan that have met up with me in person, I gotta. I gotta say, I, I apologize because I am infamously bad at directions. Like, so bad. I remember there was a lot of, you know, the YouTube get togethers and stuff that I went to where I'd get horribly, horribly lost. And I really tried the patience of a lot of you guys. And for that, you know, I gotta thank you for your patience and apologize for my terrible sense of direction. So, um, anyway. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of times where I get like lost in the woods, like literally. There's a meetup that uh, jelly wrestling meetup at Yogi Park. I got lost in like the woods, this little wooded area. It was nice, but I was horribly, horribly lost, and I thought I could take a shortcut. Nope. Nope. Anywho, here we are at lovely Yokosuka Port Market. Excuse me. I'm gonna film a video here uh, in a sec. So, um, I'm going to turn the camera off for now, and uh, we'll resume the ride after uh, I get done shooting my video. So yeah, see you guys in the next bit. So yeah, I never did get around to uh, resuming the tour, so this is going to have to conclude our uh, last time tour in Yokosuka, Japan. So yeah, this is the Andy san sign up for now, thinking you guys boop for tuning into this video and watching my stuff also gotta thank you guys for liking the thumbs commenting subscribing send a few friends to the party and hey as always we'll see you next time catch you later guys bye